Hello everyone. I hope all of you are having a great time. Welcome back to the channel. So as we proceed in our playlist of linked list, we are going to discuss another interesting question today. In the last video we discussed about how do we remove duplicate nodes from a sorted linked list, right? In this video we are going to discuss how do we remove duplicate nodes from an unsorted linked list. So if you have not seen the previous video, I'll suggest you to first see that video then come back to this video and you'll get a better understanding of the concept. So we'll discuss the algorithm approach code everything of this question. So let's get started. So guys let's discuss the algorithm of the problem. Let's suppose that you have been given a linked list 2 2 1 2 3 and this is the last node so it will point to null and you can see that 2 is appearing 3 times in the linked list right so there is there are repeated repeated nodes right so the final linked list that we wish to obtain it should look something like 2 1 and 3 right it should contain every distinct value only once so we want to achieve this goal and how can we actually achieve this goal so we use a data structure known as hash set to achieve it in this case and remember this we are solving for unsorted linked list now first understand what a hash set is so i'll just give you a brief idea about it hash set is basically a collection of items we use in java and it stores only unique or distinct values in it you can never store repeated values in it that is repeated values are not allowed in hash set it only stores unique items so let's say you have a hash set and its name is hs and hs already stores some data 2 5 6 and suppose you are trying to add another data hs.add2 you are trying to add a value which is 2 in the hash set so first it will check that if it already contains 2 and since it already contains 2 this value will not be added in the hash set right so hash set is actually storing every distinct element only once right so let me clear this now what will be the approach of our problem using hash set First of all, we'll use a current pointer and we'll initialize it to the head of the linked list. Pretty much obvious, right? This is the head of the linked list. The linked list starts from this node. We'll use a current pointer and it will be initialized to the head of the linked list. Now we'll use a previous pointer and it will be initialized to null. Right? So these two things have to be done beforehand. Now what we'll do, we will run a loop and till what condition will we run the loop, till this current pointer reaches this null of the linked list, that is till current pointer reaches the end null of the linked list. So till that point of time, our loop is going to run. Now. Let's start the algorithm. What we'll do? Current pointer is pointing to 2, right? So we'll check the value of the node at which the current pointer is pointing. So that value is 2. Now we'll check if the hash set already contains that value. Now this is the first node of the linked list, right? So at this point of time, hash set is empty. So hash set does not contain anything. So at this point of time, since hash set is not containing any value, so hash set do not contain 2 either. So since this value, that is the value at which the current pointer is pointing, since this value is absent from the hash set, so we will add this value in the hash set. First we will add this value in the, in the hash set and then what we will do, we will make the previous pointer point to the current pointer. Right, we will do these two steps and after this, the current pointer will be updated and it will move one step forward 
that is the current pointer will move will be you know given the value of the next of previous next of previous because now previous points at this node at this two so the next of previous becomes this node right so our current pointer value has been updated so this position of current pointer has been deleted and now previous is not pointing to null anymore right now we'll check the same condition once again current pointer is pointing to this node so we'll check if the value of that node is already contained in the hash set so this node contains a value 2 does the hash set contain the value 2 yes the hash set contains a value 2 we can see here right so now what we will do it means this is a repeated node right because hash set already contains this value once and we are encountering this value once again it means a repeated node has arrived now since a repeated node has arrived we our main motive of the question is we want to remove duplicate nodes from an unsorted linked list right so what we will do we want to delete this node how can we do that see this is our previous pointer so we can just make the next of previous pointer point to the next of current pointer right so by doing this what are we actually doing this was our previous pointer right this was our current pointer so this is the next of current pointer so we are actually making the next of previous pointer pointing to the next of current pointer and by doing this this node will be deleted and these links will be deleted right so in other words this was a repeated value and we have actually skipped this value so this is actually the motive of you know this statement the next of previous become equal to the next of current right and after doing this what we'll do we'll make the current pointer point to null we'll make the current pointer point to null why we are doing this because the current pointer was actually pointing to this node and this node has been you know erased so now we need to make the current pointer point somewhere right so the current pointer will point to null right so this has been deleted and this was inside the if condition that if hash set contains this value then we uh, you know perform these two steps that we uh, made previous the next of previous equal to the next of current and we made current equal to null right when we come out of the if block what we'll do we'll make current equal to the next of previous right so previous was still pointing at this node this is the next of previous so we'll make current pointer point to the next of previous that is at this particular node right now continuing our algorithm we'll check if the node at which the current pointer is pointing is this value in the hash set so one is not in hash set we know so what we'll do since one is not present in the hash set we'll add one to the hash set first of all and then we will make the previous pointer point to the current pointer right so previous pointer this position of previous pointer gets deleted and previous pointer now points to current pointer and what we do in the next step current pointer gets updated to the next of previous pointer this becomes the new current pointer right now again continuing in a similar manner we'll check if the node at which the current pointer is pointing is this value contained in the hash set so yes this value hash set, hash set already contains a value 2 so what we'll do we'll make the next of previous so let me use a black pen the next of previous point equal to the next of current so in a way we have skipped this node and these links right so instead of our flow of linked list being like this now the linked list has taken a path like this right so this repeated value of 2 this has been skipped all right and since this node does not exist anymore and current was pointing to this node so we'll make the current pointer point to null current now points to null right 
So this value of current pointer is deleted, right? And let me just clear this out a bit. Now, since we have made the next of previous pointer equal to the next of current pointer, and we have also initialized current to null, right? So we'll come out of from this if block, and now what we'll do? We'll make the current pointer equal to the next of previous pointer, right? So this was our previous pointer. and the next of previous pointer this is the next of previous pointer this node so current becomes equal to the next of previous pointer right so now current does not point to null anymore right now we'll continue our algorithm in a similar manner we'll check the value of the node at which the current pointer is pointing so this is the node at which the current pointer is pointing and its value is equal to 3 now we'll check if this value is contained in the hash set so hash set only contains 2 and 1 it does not contain 3 right so we'll add this value in the hash set right and after doing that we'll make previous equal to current so previous now points here at the current node and this previous node gets deleted right and now what we'll do we'll update current we'll move it one step forward so how can move it one step forward we'll just make current equal to the next of previous this is the next of previous so current comes to this particular node of null and since now our current pointer reaches the null of linked list so our loop will terminate because this was the initial condition we were running our loop till the current does not reach the null of linked list as soon as it reaches the null of linked list our loop gets terminated and we will return the head of the linked list on returning the head of linked list so this will be the head and by doing next on consecutive nodes next operation our final linked list would look something like this 2 1 3 and 3 would finally point to null right so in this final linked list we have deleted the repeated nodes you can see this 2 isn't there and this 2 isn't there so our task has been achieved and we have removed duplicate nodes from an unsorted linked list comprising of n nodes in total right so i hope all of you might have understood the algorithm we have you know performed only two basic steps throughout the algorithm what we do first we check the value of the node at which the current pointer is pointing if this value is already contained in the hash set it means there is a repeated node and we wish to skip that node so if this value is is in hash set so if this value is already contained in hash set so we perform fixed set of operations we want to skip that node so we just make the next of previous equal to the next of current and we make current equal to null right and if this value is not present in hash set then we perform two other operations we add this value in the hash set right this value so let's say this value was current value right and hs is the name of hash set right and and what we do we make previous equal to current so if this value was in the hash set these were the two steps we were following and if this value was not in the hash set then these were the two steps we were following throughout the algorithm and after performing either of the tasks either this one or this one we are just going to update the value of current pointer and we are going to make it to the next of previous pointer right and we are going to run the entire loop till the current pointer reaches the null of the linked list so that was all about the algorithm right so now let's discuss the coding part of the problem so guys let's come to the coding part of the problem now as we all know it's a question of linked list so at first we need to create the structure of a node right so let's create a class node and every node in our singly linked list consists of a data part and a next pointer let's declare them and we also need to initialize these values so let's take a constructor and give it a parameter d and let's initialize our data with d 
and our next pointer with none. So this was all about creating the structure of node. Now let's come to our actual function. So let's define a class calc and public. Now what should be the return type of the function? So in the see what our uh, main objective is we want to remove duplicates from an unsorted linked list right but in the end it will still remain a linked list right and we will return its head and what's the type of head head is you know a node type hence the data type of this function should be the return type of this function should be a node type because head is a node type and we are going to return head in the end right so public node and let's give this function a name so it should be x and it will accept head node of a linked list the linked list from which we wish to remove duplicate nodes right so as i already told you we are going to use a hash set here so let's declare a hash set hash set now since our hash set contains integer values so we have to mention it integer like this and this is the name of hash set hs is equal to new hash set hash set so this is actually the way of creating a hash set in java and this particular thing is known as generics right so it can contain integer or long or float you know depending on the value which hash set holds in our case in this current case hash set is holding integer numbers hence we declared it as integer now what we'll do we'll define a node pointer a current pointer and we'll initialize it to head of the linked list we'll also declare a previous pointer and we'll initialize it to the null of linked list now we are gonna run a loop till what condition till the current pointer does not reach the null node that is the end of the linked list right as we saw in the algorithm so first we are gonna extract the value of the current pointer so whatever at whatever node our current pointer is pointing to so by doing dot data we'll be able will be able to get the integer value of that node and let's store that value in this variable cur value right so let's check if this value is already contained in the hash set so if hs dot dot contains cur value right so if hash set already contains this value it means there is a repeated node and we wish to skip that node so we do we make the next of previous equal to the next of current right and what is this step actually doing so this step let me make a comment this step is actually deleting current node which contains duplicates yeah so basically if this was 2 this was 2 and this was a 3 and this was previous and this was current so the next of previous will point to the next of current so this node will be deleted okay right? we saw all this in the algorithm right so if you wish to see it again just rewind a little bit and see in the algorithm and what are we going to do next we'll make current point to null because current was pointing to the node which has been deleted so we wish to you know we have to make current point somewhere so we'll point it to null and if hash set it does not contain this value of cur value so we will add this value in hash set we will add this value in hash set and we will make the previous pointer point to the current node right so either the if case will get executed either this case will get executed or the else case will get executed right any one of these cases will get executed and after the execution of these cases what are you going to do you're going to update the value of current 
current will finally move to the next stop previous pointer right and here are while loop ends while loop ends so this is a very very basic question you just have to you know understand the visualization of how you know things are working and you will face no problem in the code part and since our while loop has ended now we will return the head of the linked list so basically our linked list we have in our linked list we have removed duplicate nodes right and our task is achieved let's also discuss the time and space complexities of this problem so time complexity now see time complexity is definitely of the order of n because you need to travel if there are n nodes in a linked list so you need to travel all those n nodes you know to find the solution so time is of the order of n and what has to be the space complexity now if you think a little bit you know we have used hash set in this problem right and whenever the value of the node at which the current pointer was pointing if this if that particular value was not present in the hash set so we were adding that value in the hash set right so let's suppose that you have a linked list 1 2 3 you have a linked list which contains only distinct data right there are no repeated nodes so in this case whatever our hash set is so first this data will be added in the hash set then two will be added then three will be added because there is no repetition so we'll add all the data one by one as per the you know code and algorithm of the problem and since if there are n nodes in total and all are distinct so all the n nodes will be there present in the hash set right so this will take up some space this hash set is taking up some space and that's why in the worst case possible our space complexity will also become of the order of n right because we have used an extra structure here known as hash set and in this worst case possible if there are you know only distinct nodes in the linked list it will contain all the value so you know it will occupy some space so time and space complexities are both of the order of n and you know i hope by now everything must be very clear and you might have understood the problem so yeah that was it so guys that was all about the question of removing duplicates from an unsorted linked list comprising of n nodes it was a pretty you know simple question we used hash set to solve that question and i hope all of you might have understood the concept by now and even the logic and one more thing i hope that you all are enjoying the playlist which is going on of linked list so if you find the content of somewhat utility so do press the bell button to receive all notifications subscribe to the channel share the content and even like the videos thank you very much and we'll meet very soon with a fresh video take care happy coding